Hello, my name is Mike Suters, and I'm an application engineer with Trimec. Today, I'd like to show you how to do a simple explode animation using SolidWorks Composer. Here I have an assembly that I've taken from SolidWorks and brought into SolidWorks Composer. What I'd like to show here is an explode view that shows the grinding wheel on the right-hand side, as well as the associated hardware exploding off of the, the shaft. Let's go ahead and grab that grinding wheel assembly. I'll go through and select that first, and what I want to do here is first just go through and uh, maybe show an animation where this explodes, uh, or this, this translates from one position to another. In order to do that, let's first go through and select everything, and we'll go through and set a location key for that, just right on the screen, right where we want that. Maybe right there. Uh, once I have that, go through and specify that key here, or the location keys. Make sure those are set. And now, I can jump ahead to about two seconds or so, and let's go back and grab that same assembly there, and maybe translate that out a little bit further, as well as maybe shift our camera view. To do that, basically just a matter of adding a camera view here, and then you can see the location key for those selected items should have already been added, but we can go through and click that again just to make sure. Now that we have that set, let's go ahead and move a little bit further down the line, maybe to about four seconds here. Uh, and we can go ahead and uh, basically explode this assembly. We'll go through and just select all these components. And using our transform options here, you'll see that we have an option for a linear explode. We'll choose that, go through and explode out all these components. Again, maybe set another camera key here to show that exactly where we want it, as well as location keys for all those exploded components. Once complete, we can go back to the start of our animation here, hit play. We can see all of those components translate and explode out in this assembly. So pretty cool. 